Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to shoot a basketball with correct form. Let's go. Shaking. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot a basketball with correct form. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to know anything about basketball, all you have to do is check my channel. I'm pretty sure I have a video about what you want to know. But if I don't, don't be afraid to leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's get into how to shoot the basketball using perfect form. Now, I already made a video about shooting the basketball perfectly, and if you want to see exact details on how your feet should be, how your hands should be, check the video. Um, I'll put it somewhere, link somewhere right here. But this is going to elaborate on that video. This is a part two. All right, so I'm just going to answer all the questions that you guys had about that video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to get more Power. Questions I got asked on that video is, Coach, how do I increase my power? Um, I have good shooting form, but I can't get the ball to the rim. Um, the best way to increase your power, I didn't talk about it in the last video, is the turn, okay? Now, the turn is when you shoot the ball and you slightly turn your hips mid-air to help you get more power on that shot. Um, a lot of different sports use the turn. Um, in baseball, um, batters use the turn, they turn their hips. Um, pitchers use the turn. Um, in football, quarterbacks use the turn. Basically, a lot of sports use the turn, and in basketball, it is no different. You wanna kinda get your hips around, and it will help you increase your power greatly. Um, now, the thing about the turn is you don't wanna overturn, because then your alignment with your shot will be off. You want to do it. It's, this turn is so slight that if you just look at it, you won't really notice it as much, okay? But it is definitely there, and it will increase your power a ton. You'll be able to shoot farther than the three-point line. You'll be able to increase your shooting range deep, Steph Curry range, okay? So the turn is the way that you increase your power. Also, another way you can get more power on your shot and you can shoot from a further distance is if you do not jump as high. Whenever you jump extremely high on your jump shot, your release point can get messed up and you do not release the ball at the best point to get more distance on the shot. But when you jump short, where you don't get that high off the ground, your release point will be more powerful. You, it's a better chance that you will release the ball on the way up. Okay, so that's why I say do not jump as high. Also, when you don't jump that high, you have less room for errors. When you're in the air for a longer time, you have form breaks and, and different things go on that can mess up your shot. So if you want to increase your power in the distance of how far you shoot the ball, do not jump as high. Another question people ask about how to shoot the perfect shot is your feet. Should your feet be tilted or should your feet be slightly turned? Yes, your feet should be tilted or slightly turned. But the real issue, the reason why I do not teach students or players to tilt their feet and turn their feet is because most people naturally do it. I mean, almost everybody naturally turns their feet. And if you start telling them to turn their feet, you start making them conscious about turning their feet, that's when you get kids and players overturning and, and being sideways to the target. That's not good. Um, yes, your feet will be slightly tilted, and that's more of a natural thing that happens throughout the process of you shooting and getting up a lot of shots. Your feet will naturally turn. We also have a this big um, discussion about why is it bad to use your thumb when you're shooting the ball? Steph Curry uses his thumb. Kyrie Irving offhand uses the thumb. Why are you saying it's bad to, to use the thumb now? If you're watching this video and you're trying to in, improve your shooting form, I'm telling you things that could be hindering you or holding you back. Kyrie Irving and Stephen Curry are big exceptions and they don't have an issue with their form. It works for them. Like I said, there's no perfect way to do it and there's always going to be exceptions to any rule. Only thing I'm trying to tell you about the thumb being on the ball is it if you are having problems with your shot, it could be the fact that your thumb is misdirecting your shot, okay? So I'm not saying never use the thumb because if your shot works with the thumb, don't change it. Keep it the same way. But if your shot is bricking and you can't hit anything, you might need to take your offhand thumb off the ball. 
that's basically what I'm saying with that. And a lot, I know Kyrie and Steph Curry kinda use the thumb, but they are fine with their shot. Their shot goes in a lot. If you are a person that is struggling with your shot, you cannot shoot it the same exact way as Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving. Try taking your offhand thumb off the ball and see if you can splash your own threes. Some of the, the best places to release the ball and like I say, everybody's a little bit different, but with my shot, I like to release the ball right above my eyebrow, forehead area. I like to have my release point around there, but like I say, everybody's different. Some release it right in front of their face, some release it you know, a little bit higher. Everybody's release point may be different. You have to figure out what works for you, and after you figure out what works for you, you have to put time into that shot and shooting it the same exact way. All in all, the biggest thing about shooting is just finding what works for you. Um, for example, any shot can work if you find out what works for you and you work on it. Like, like for example, Sean Marion, he wasn't a terrible shooter, but his form was terrible, but it worked for him. He figured out what worked for him, and he practiced and he got better at that. Now, I'm not saying try to perfect the ugly form. Try to make your form look good. Um, develop and learn what looks good as well as what works for you. But the main thing about any of these videos, about any of these drills is putting in the time putting in the reps, putting in the work, and actually trying to get better at what you're doing. Um, if you just watch my video and then go outside for 30 minutes and then don't see results, you're probably not gonna see results in 30 minutes. You have to put time in it. All of these players that are great and, and are good, they have put in numerous, countless hours of basketball. They're not gonna get good in 30 minutes. I don't want people to get confused about that and think that. Um, you're gonna get good in 30 minutes or an hour or a couple of days. It takes time, it takes years sometimes, but it's a, if you're willing to do the work, you will get better. Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. I just showed you how to shoot a basketball using correct form. If you like anything about this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you wanna know anything else talking about basketball, all you have to do is check my channel or you can easily leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as best as I can. That's all I got for you today. Coach Howard here, Howard Elite Basketball. Let's go. Shake it.